Doug wakes up to sunlight streaming through his windows and birds chirping. A seemingly delightful way to wake up. But Doug would often find these waking moments irritating, as if the world's first words to him were, Cheer up, Doug, isn't everything great? Sometimes he gets out of bed within a few minutes. Sometimes the bed turns into quicksand and he lacks energy or motivation to escape. Turns out this is one of those quicksand kind of days. Doug tries to bribe himself with food and entertainment. If he gets out of bed, he gets to have some leftover tacos from last night and he gets to watch a documentary about birds. He's been watching a lot of nature documentaries, but he doesn't really know why. As Doug finishes his last taco, he finds himself staring through his TV, not absorbing any stimulus that the documentary is providing him. All he hears is silence, and the sound of his occasionally stifled breathing. A tear starts to fall down Doug's cheek, which shakes him back to reality, and he realizes that the nature documentaries are no longer holding his attention well enough to distract his wandering brain. He wonders if he should take a walk, but immediately dismisses the idea of leaving his home. Should he eat more? Should he watch something else? Should he play a game? Doug spends an hour and a half on his couch wondering how to keep his mind busy, while an Australian man talks about rare bird species in the distance. Doug becomes frustrated because today is one of his only two days off of work, and he feels like he deserves to spend that time having the most fun he possibly can. But here he is, going from one piece of quicksand furniture to another. He goes to his window and stares out of it. The thought occasionally comes to mind when he sees how high up his apartment is. A few terrifying seconds in exchange for peace. He thinks about how lucky he is to even have an opportunity like that, and strangely, it comforts him that he and he alone has the power to make that decision. It really is a gorgeous day out today. He even gets to watch an unfortunate man dance with a sign outside the new pizza place. It made him wonder, how did that man get to where he is now? Is he happy? Or is he just going to come home from his job and let his happy exterior melt as soon as he enters his home? Stuck on his couch, listening to Australian men talking about rare birds. That breeze really does feel nice. Doug wonders who would really miss him if he went through with it. He can't tell if he's being hypothetical anymore. They would miss him, but time would make them move on, making all their memories of him just vague feelings. He felt his pocket vibrate. It's from his mom. It's a text message that reads, I love you, I hope you're doing well, and I'm so proud of you. It felt as if he were shaken awake after sleepwalking the entire day. The trees looked greener, the sun looked brighter somehow. His mind was clear again. He decided to finally take that walk. All he needed was just a little outside encouragement to remind him that everything was going to be okay. Even on his worst days, he would only look out that window and proceed onward to better days. Just the thought that at least one person out there was rooting for him was all he needed to keep those days going by. And even if there wasn't, he always reminded himself that every day is a new day. New possibilities, new stories, and new experiences that were always waiting for him.